Hello everybody, my name is Flashlight Antics and welcome back to Everspace. We're just going to get right on in it because I really want to get that, uh, that ship. As it turns out last time, uh, now whenever you take damage, uh, you don't actually, uh, you start to lose your, your warp. So normally when... beginning is an opportunity to do things the right way. Yeah. I'm not big on philosophy. Yeah. Oh, hi guys. Hold on. Hold on. Let me just deal with you guys first. Hold on. And... What did I say? There we go. Okay. Scattergun, huh? Scattergun. No, don't want it. So, when you go into this, when you try to go to a new area, See how it reloads like that? Well, normally, back when uh, I first got this game, uh, that particular aspect, it would load the same speed no matter what. There we go. Crystal and credits. Yes, and an energy injector. Yeah, I'll take an energy injector. What are you guys doing? Leave me alone. Okay, come on, come on. You know, there there we go. There, I was worried. The odds were certainly and more against. credits. Okay, so that's where we're getting a lot of the credits. But uh, let's see here. Is this is this going to be a good area to to? I'm not sure if this is going to be a good area to use a probe on. Yeah, I think I'm just going to go explore this area over here and then just head out. So anyway, last time uh, I ran into the problem of the Okar came and were trying to, to absolutely wreck me. Oh hey, what do we have over here? And they did a pretty decent job of it because the last time uh, I didn't actually get to escape in time before getting pretty badly damaged by their attacks as I was trying to escape, which made it harder to escape. And therefore, I died. So, that happens. So that's one thing that we need to actually be aware of. We need to keep it in mind that if we're going to be perusing about and actually doing some, some research and that sort of thing and trying to find these different things, we need to make sure that we have enough time to do it because otherwise, the old car is going to come in and have their way with us. Corrosion missiles. Ooh. Now, see, normally I would really like that, but no. And if I was in the interceptor, I would actually have two slots for the secondary weapon. Or not the interceptor, the gunship. Okay, nothing else here. Moving on to the next area. Things to do, people to kill, places to go. Okay, so last time we got the upgrade to actually show what the risk levels are at certain areas. So you can see on the screen here that the uh, the orange areas are medium risk. And I'm sitting here pointing at the screen like you guys know, like you can see. The orange areas are medium risk and these areas down here, so this is the orange area, this area here is low risk. The thing about medium risk is that it is more dangerous because there are more enemies or possibly just more powerful enemies, but they generally give you better stuff. So let's go there. And more enemies does mean more credits. That that does correlate. So let's just uh, start with you guys. Let's scout. I don't want the scout first. I want the drone first because the drones... Primary reason why I go after drones, ooh, first, well that was eventful, is because the drones have machine guns, and, ooh, ow, sorry, pardon me, and the normal uh, scouts and those guys, the outlaws, they only have pulse weaponry, and pulse weaponry is uh, only dangerous against your shields not so much against uh, your hull. 
So with those two combined, it does make for a dangerous duo because if the scouts can actually get your shielding down, then that's a bad thing because the drones will just absolutely rip you to pieces. Hello, what do we have here? Is there anybody, any, any stuff, any goodies? I mean, I, I see that these guys are coming in. Oh, goodness. Yeah, see, those are drones. That's another thing about the drones. The Okar drones have those beam weapons. And those can suck. I didn't get any credits out of you guys, though. What is, what is the deal with that? Uh, well, I haven't really wasted too much time. Let's just go ahead and use a scanning probe. Because there's got to be more stuff around here than that. Ah, uh, yes. Tech container. Here we go. See? And there's another one off to the left there. That's the little blue circle to the left of the screen. There we go. Shield. Shield XC. So less hit points, but it has better energy allocation, better recharge rate, better recharge delay. So less time between taking damage and recharging and the shutdown duration is less time so when it actually takes damage the time between recharging and or no shutdown duration I'm not sure what that is actually to be dead honest I thought I knew what it was but I don't think I actually do so it can take less punishment but generally speaking it can recharge faster yeah let's swap it let's give her a go what do we have over here? Mineable ore. And plasma. Plasma field. I will take a plasma field. Plasma is very uh, necessary for different things that we can make in the inventory. There we go. 24 plasma. So let's just take a look in our little thing here. Let's see here. Build new. Scatter gun. That's the only other thing that we have. Dang it. What about here? You can build light missiles. I mean, that's a thing. What about here? Energy injectors, shield boosters, scanning probe. Can't actually make any of those. I need compound. And build new shield and weapon overdrive. Nothing. Okay. So we can't actually make anything of use, which is cool. There we go. Or fully mined. Okay, there's not really anything else here. This was kind of a fruitless venture. On to the next area. Tally ho. Biggest waste of a scanning probe ever. Okay. The jump suppressor is active nearby. That's not good. Well, do something about it. Find it and disable it. The higher the signal strength, the closer you are. Okay. That's good to know. Okay, I am out of late. Uh, out of. Well, yeah, I've noticed I've been detected. Thanks. Uh, shield breaker missiles. Hold on, hold on. Ugh. Ow. Okay. Well, that's one of the things that we can actually see now. Uh, my inertia dampeners are now damaged, which means that I'm going to continue to move even after I've told my ship to stop moving. Come on. Ow, ow. There we go. Credits 600. How many credits do I got? Not nearly enough. Okay, so... Inertia dampener sucks. Oh, hacking. Yes, hack it. And hacked. Now what else are we doing? What do we have here? Yeah, suck it. Ow. Oh, please tell me I have some nanobots. Do I have nanobots? I have no nanobots. Well, that's going to suck for a while. What do we have over here? Mineable crystal... Okay, crystal fully mined. What do we have over here? Equipment transport. See, those are really nice, but they're incredibly hard to take down. I am incredibly damaged, and my inertia dampener being, like, borked. 
kind of sucks. Because, I mean, look, I could let go. I have let go, and I'm still, still very much moving. So, that's a thing. Crystal Foley Mind. Uh, hey, here we go. Where... Where is that? Ugh. Okay, don't do that. Yeah! Shield generator damaged. God dang it, that inertia dampener is just freaking me up, man. Up. Oh. I'm about to die. Yeah. Yeah, I'm about to die. I am definitely dead. Like, I have like zero HP. Wow. Okay. Well, I would love to go into this area and actually get a freaking container. But I have absolutely no idea where that is, so... And the inertia dampener is basically killing me, so... Yeah, and the Okar forces, there, there they came. They would have absolutely killed me. Okay, now I am at the jump gate. Easy. Calm your jets there. There we go. Okay. So I'll what take else? These, thank you. Gel. I'll take gel. Uh, what else? What else? Thought I saw some nanobots, but you know, I really wish that was a traitor. Oh, I ain't got no time for you guys right now. Why don't you come over here and uh, try that again? Come on. Thank you. For the credits. Any other enemies around here? Probably not. Um, so there are no traders in this area, and it looks like it's just like a mining outpost. Really, my best bet is to keep jumping until I can find a trader, at which point I can try and hope and pray that they have nanobots. Because if they have nanobots, then I can fix myself. Well, let's see what this sector has in store for us. Oh. Oh, hi. Why does this vessel appear with a skull? This is to highlight a superior fighter. It will be harder to take down. <laughs> yeah. We'll see about that. Yeah, well, he's about to kill me. I'm about to die. There's two of them. Okay, so I got the credits from it, at least. Okay. What do we have over here? Come on. Come on. Come on. Yeah. Okay, so I guess... I guess they weren't about to kill me. <laughs> I guess I'm a little bit better at this than I originally thought. Oh, but there's more of them. Hold on, fellas. Hold on. Shield XC. Scout. Energy allocation better. Recharge delay not as good. Okay, hold on. They've locked onto you. Okay, I might die right here. Hold on. Ow. Yeah, these guys are gonna freaking kill me. Yep, 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 mm-hmm, yep. Well, that was a thing. Well, no, uh, no access to our, our ever-desired colonial gunship just yet but uh we can do some perks that will kind of help us get there bonus resources is always one of them that can be really handy um what is this one lets you choose additional random equipment before each run that one's pretty fun uh, i'm not sure we're actually going to be able to upgrade it though credit loot bonus 10 percent. yes i will take that 
uh, what else is this? Bonus resource. Previous levels adds resource worth 500. And the next one where we add resources worth 1,000. Um, what is this? Crafting cost. Decreases the amount of resources needed for crafting. No, I don't necessarily need that. Critical hits. This is actually going to be really good because critical hits can really help. Uh, critical hit damage and critical hit chance. So damage is currently times two. Uh, I want more chance. What else? Damage and repair. Nanobot efficiency. We See, we need nanobots for that. Probability of ship component damage. Increases the chance of surviving a jump without it. Okay, I never have a problem with that either. Let's get that and uh, I don't know reputation Let's put some stuff into reputation. I guess Is there anything else I can get now. There's nothing else I can get. Okay So, you know, not a lot happened in this episode. I think I'm going to try another run Because um, that sounds that sounds like it should be something that should happen so uh what I'm really going to do is I'm going to try hard. You get 25% more credits, but things are a little bit more deadly. So we'll see how that works out for us. I'll probably die sooner and get no more credits than I did before, but you know, there is that. I'm hoping to make this quick and painless. Yep, yep, that was, yep. So that's hard mode. That's why I don't really play hard mode all that often. It gets you more credits, but generally speaking, your survival ability just goes absolutely down. I, like, it plummets. Like, in hard mode, I haven't been able to make it past uh, the first area in... First area of the second sector that you go to. But anyway, I'm going to leave this video off here. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked it, don't forget to hit that like button down there for me. And as always, I will see you guys in the next one. Atlantic's out.